Hallo en welkom to The Voice Vlog uh, with Van der Stoel, episode 7. Um, now, uh, I'm going to make it a short run tonight because I'm very tired. I had a very big uh, evening at the course that I'm running at the moment. Uh, the, uh, the new course that I started last night called Female Genitalia and its relationship to the music of Rogers and Hammerstein. Um, tonight we did a bit of interpretive dancing. Um, to the Rogers and Hammerstein song, uh, it's a real nice clam bake. And uh, unfortunately, um, we had a couple of ladies that uh, broke their mirror, and and one older lady she broke her finger, and uh, and lost her wedding ring. So, it was quite a a, a big night at the Scout Hall, and I'm pretty tired because of all of it. So. <coughs> I'm going to go through everything quite quickly for this evening. So Hannah Darling was the first girl and uh, she was lovely. Um, Hannah, your song that you sang afterwards was more interesting than the original song. So I won't be buying your original song, but I wish you would record your own song because I would buy that. Then we had Ben Goldstein. Uh, and Ben uh, and uh, Leo, you know, Ben Leo is a really great Jewish singer. Um, there, and then uh, we had uh, we had this lady. Um, oh, then we had Rebecca Strongman. Now she didn't get in. Rebecca, I've got a few tips for you. Rebecca, put on some makeup. Okay, don't wear the dress that you wear to the Westfield in the morning on the stage at night time. And if you do get a sniffle because you're getting emotional or something, you must use a tissue. Okay, do not sniff the snot back up onto your nose because you're a star now and you can't do that on television. All right, so you're only 17, couple of tips. Okay, then we had Jackie Sania. We had her, and oh, she was pretty spectacular, I have to say. Um, Jackie, lovely, lovely voice. Um, and she did two things at once. Very clever, Jackie. It's always very clever to do two things on stage at the same time because it always makes people think you're more clever than you actually are, you know, I think, more talented. I mean, I myself, when I was living back in Schermonich auch, uh, back in Holland, uh, I used to crochet and sing at the same time and that was uh, quite a good gimmick um so look one of the things for you stop saying that you had a rough childhood okay and embarrassing your mum on the television she was really embarrassed you need to buy those bullies a mask bar because quite frankly they are the guys that now gave you the voice that you're singing this today and it's beautiful um, I was also bullied at school they had a, a Jan van der Stoel, I hate van, Jan van der Stoel club um, and uh, they had uh, membership cards and uh, they had a newsletter uh, so that was pretty tough but I don't mind because that's why I'm such a good singer today okay so positive um, and also I want to give a little tip just to your friend Jade uh, who was talking she was always se also 17 and she said about you that she'd never seen anyone with such a strong dream and never seen anyone come so close to making that dream come true and that she thought that you deserved it so much well Jade I just wanted to remind you you are 17 so there's a lot of things you haven't seen like you know most of Australia probably and uh, New Zealand you know uh, polar bear maybe so you know uh, lots of things you haven't seen at 17 and also about her deserving it well you know Jackie does deserve it um, but you know really I'm in my late 40s now or a little bit older and uh, I know a lot of people who deserve it a lot more so oh like Mitchell Anderson uh, now he was lovely Mitchell Mitchell, he looks like he has been drinking and, uh, and, and singing in the pubs for a long time now. And he's really put in his juice. And I loved, that was one of my favourite parts of the evenings, I just loved all the man hugging that was happening with Mitchell and his father. You know, they were saying, I love you, and it was so moving, really and truly. I just thought it was lovely. I mean, Peter, you know, my husband and cousin, he also is very, you know, he's a very huggy man and stuff. He used to always hug with his father, uh, my uncle, uh, you know, all the time back in Schermonich. But pa Peter's a little bit homo like that, you know. He's always very, he's doing a lot of craft and things like that. So so he often, 
does that kind of thing but uh, but uh, these guys they were really doing you know Aussie male hugs and it was very very moving and uh, Mitch I thought your father was actually uh, I always felt a little bit sexy about him uh, no, I mean, I'm married of course but just I thought that you know he was so lovely I thought He'd be a lovely person to have a meal with at the RSL, you know, really nice guy. And then we had Luke Mancini. Um, he was really funny, and, and I really like this photo of you, Luke. That's great. Uh, he was lovely. And then Katie Carr, the singing teacher. Remember her? There she is. And Katie, it was so exciting as a singing teacher to watch you up there uh, as well. I always think it is very exciting as a singing teacher when you get to show your students that you're better than they are, you know. That is always a great moment. Um, and so, but you were a little bit pitchy, so a little bit out of gin. So pitch exercises for you, please. And then we finished off with the lovely Sean Kirk. And uh, Sean, it was so lovely to hear you sing. I heard a lot of Michael Jackson in your in your singing. I wonder if he was one of your idols, because I could hear that. And I thought maybe you felt sort of like you had something in common with him, you know, because uh, he also had, you know, he had things uh, in his life that wasn't working so well, uh, and and bits of his body that didn't work so well, like his nose. And I thought that maybe that was something that you, you connected with. Anyway, I thought you did a great job tonight. But uh, I have to say, my highlight of the evening was at the very end of The Voice, seeing the judges in a different outfit. I cannot tell you, I have been feeling a little bit sick, in fact having little vomits in my mouth when I have been watching the judges, just knowing that they have been in those costumes for 10 days in that room. I, I just, it really makes me a bit sick and it was just, it was amazing to see them suddenly all in white, you know, and just in completely different outfits in the battle rounds. Uh, it was like I felt like I was like in solidarity, you know, uh, being in like a black box uh, for weeks, you know, and then suddenly brought out in the light and all of that white, I had to actually look away, I was, you know, looking at Delta uh, with her, the gold top on and I just thought, oh my gosh, I can't look at it, it was so garnish uh, that, that it, I had to just look away for a second because of the brightness, like the sunshine being in a black box for all that time. So I can't tell you, I'm just so excited about the new outfits. And uh, that's going to be the highlight for me. So anyway, we're having a little break now, which is great because I'm so busy and, uh, and I've got my course on. And so I uh, look forward to seeing you all on Sunday for the very last time that we have to look at um, the judges in those black outfits.